I'm Michelle Sun. I teach kids the global language of the future, and this is why you should listen to me. First Code Academy was founded in 2013 with the mission to empower the next generation to become creators with technology. Coding language to me and to these students in this generation is just like Mandarin. Um, it's like a whole new second language that they need to know to be a world citizen. The foundation and the vision uh, from building this company is that kids these days, as young as four years old or even younger, they are um, interacting with technology like no other generation has. They can unlock an iPad, you know, before they start learning how to write. When I was four, I practically played with probably a dummy laptop. Is it that important to start them that young? I would say so, yeah. So when we look at the students at that age, uh, we a lot of times think about what would inspire them to form a lifelong interest in interacting with technology in a creative way. Um, coding is one way to bring their ideas to life, and for them it's very, very empowering to see their ideas come to life in a form of robot or a website or a game. Tell us how you got to your entrepreneurial path of where you are today. I was lucky enough to uh, be in the technology team in the finance um, job that I held, and. There I visited um, headquarters of Alibaba and Tencent and it was hugely inspiring for a person like fresh out of college like myself. And I thought to myself, well, I do really want to be like these people that are building things that is changing the lives of billions of people, how they interact, how they message each other, how they shop online. What was that moment, you know, where you sat in an office and made you tick and go, I'm going to do a little bit more than this? In 2010, I contracted the swine flu and um, I was bedridden for three weeks. And back then I was literally just very weak and I thought I was not going to make it. Oh. And, um, and I thought to myself, well, if I have limited time on earth, um, what would I want to do? And that kind of gave me the courage to take the leap and um, see what's out there on the other side. A lot of women in the tech field say, you know, they're simply missing mentors. You know, the closest thing that they have are the dudes in the hoodies. So you are a teacher yourself. I want to sort of know, like, how can the tech world improve on this? Yeah, I mean, I have very similar experience as you mentioned about the girls that, you know, uh, in terms of role models growing up. And I think there's a shifting uh, landscape right now globally, which is very encouraging where, you know, you have global role models like, you know, supermodels like Carly Claus that is promoting coding to girls. And, um, and I think that is very important because as a young, um, young child growing up, you just need that kind of vision in your head. So you make choices going through life and you see that it's possible. You are a young Asian female leader that juggle a lot of hats. So for young women who are out there who want to get to the same position of where you are, what is your advice for them on choosing and not all? I would say be okay with not doing it perfect. So. Um, I feel like a lot of times as, um, at, at least for myself, there's a, there's a lot of pressure to appear, to do everything perfect and get everything right. And um, it's actually a very high pressure that imposed to ourselves. And when we kind of give ourselves that leeway to experiment and try new things, and sometimes we can actually ex open up a lot of possibilities. How would you like your students to see you in 10 years time? I guess I would hope for my students to look back when they first started coding as a time that they really opened up a new world. And um, yeah, I hope that they look at coding as something that is creative, that is expressive. And um, you know, even if they don't work in technology as an engineer or even a product designer, um, it's something that changed the way they interact with, their, with technology in their daily lives.